Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're sewing up the effortless hourglass swing dress. This dress has great options, it's super cute, I can't wait to sew it together. Today I'm going to be sewing up the cowl option with, uh, it's going to be a knee length with the pockets and a regular uh, long sleeve with the cuffs, um, but I'm also going to be showing you how I sewed up my bands and my neckband on a sleeveless and a neckband option. So let's get started. <music> Before we get to sewing up this pattern, I wanted to show you how to cut up the cowl because it's on the double fold. And sometimes cutting on the double fold can be a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna show you on my fabric. So here's my fabric and I've already cut up a lot of it so I'm getting kind of low on it. But anyway, here's my fabric and what we're going to do to cut in the fold is we're going to make a first fold. So this is my first fold. I'm just folding my fabric. I'm folding them wrong sides together and make sure it's all straight everywhere even at the other side because once we've made that first fold we're going to grab our pattern make sure that our pattern fits here's a one fold and it fits all the way to the bottom and then after it after i know that it fits all the way to the bottom see that fits really good in there here's my first fold i'm going to go ahead and grab it and I'm gonna fold this over to the other side now, this way. So make sure that it's all good, it's all straight. Here's the first fold, it goes all the way around. And now I'm placing two folds on top of each other, see that? And I have another fold on this side. So now there's a fold here on this side. So if I grab my pattern piece, it's got a fold here and a fold here and my fold make sure that it goes all the way to the bottom if your fabric is rolling like mine make sure you pull it out so it's nice and even all the way so I've got fold here see that fold and then I've got a fold here as well and then it's kind of in the corner right there so then I'm gonna cut all the way around this outer edge that's all there is to to a double fold just want to make sure that it's in two folded areas all right and i did like a little peek here to know that that's the back and a little peek here to know that that's the neckline all right we're ready to sew and i'm going to start with the pocket option i've got my front bodice and here is my opening for my pocket i'm going to grab my pocket and it's the one that has that long piece at the top here i'm going to grab it i'm going to face it right sides together along that rounded edge where the pocket is going to go. This is the top of my bodice. This is the bottom of my bodice. So I am sewing right here, right sides together. Now it is recommended to use a sewing machine for this step of my uh, sewing process. It just makes it uh, have a better finish if it's done with a sewing machine. So I'm going to use a stretch stitch on my sewing machine to do that. I'm gonna do the same on both sides. One, once that's sewn, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and steam or seam allowance towards the pocket because then we're going to um, top stitch here over the pocket to do an under stitch. We're gonna under stitch the pocket. So I'm giving it a steam. And we're gonna under stitch right along this edge, the inside where the pocket is, right along that, stitching that seam allowance down. I'm gonna do that on both sides. For this step, you can use a stretch stitch, but you can also just use a long straight stitch. All right, so it should look like this. There's my stitching. Now we're gonna press our pocket towards the back, like this. So you can see the stitching here, and we're gonna press that down. This under stitching helps the pocket sit really nicely and not and helps the this pocket not to poke out on the sides. See how the stitching is here and it's got that nice fold on the outside. If you can see that, that looks really good. All right, once we're done with uh, the pocket and steaming, we're gonna go right here to the top of our bodice. 
is my bodice. We're gonna grab the pocket liner and we're gonna make sure that it's facing the right side. So you can see this is what's gonna match up here. Um, you're going to, this is gonna go like sewn to that and under. So that's going to be your panel here at the side. So what you're going to do is you're gonna grab this and tilt it over and starting here at the top, we're gonna start and go all the way down till we get to the pocket where we started the pocket. So we're just, we'll just be sewing that on with a stretch stitch. I like to use a triple stitch as a stretch stitch on my sewing machine. Um, that's just my favorite stitch to do when I'm sewing. And I'm coming up to right where that pocket ends right here. I'm going all the way right there. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. All right, now that we've got that, we're gonna go ahead and steam that seam. And now we're gonna turn our dress to the back. Here's the back side of the dress. Here's your pockets on the sides. We're gonna bring our pocket liner right on top of our pocket. Line them up together. And we're gonna sew starting here at the seam at the top, all the way down around the pocket. Now keep in mind that we're not sewing it to the dress, we're sewing it to the pocket. See how this is the pocket right here? That's what we're sewing together. We're gonna start here where we stopped, we're gonna backstitch, we're gonna go all the way down and sew, but the pocket itself is not being attached to the dress. We will do that later if we wanna top stitch here later but you need to make sure that you're not top stitching it to the dress. And then we're gonna do it to the other side. So here's the pocket liner, here's the pocket. We're gonna place the pocket right, liner right on top of the pocket. We're gonna match up the seams here, the seam allowances. And we're gonna sew that with our preferred stretch stitch. All right, so our front bodice is basically ready. All we've gotta do is here where the pocket meets on the side, you wanna either base that down or make sure you secure it together because that is gonna come later where we're going to sew those sides together. Here, though, if you want, we can go ahead and top stitch the seam down. You're gonna steam your seam towards the inside of the dress. Here's what it looks like on the inside. You're gonna steam the seam. And then if you want to, you can top stitch. That is up to you. I'll show you. The seam here at the top. You can top stitch this, this seam right here. Don't, you don't, you wanna stop where the pocket liner meets the pocket because you, you, this is the part that where, you know, obviously your hand's gonna go in, so you don't wanna close that out, but you can top stitch here at the top. And I'm gonna do, steam the other side, and then we're gonna move on to do our back. That looks really good. Like, it looks really neat. And I love it too, and um, some have done it as a color block, so it kind of brings the eye in, and it creates like a cool illusion here. Um, for this one, I just went with a solid, but I think my next one is gonna have a pop of color here for the pocket. I said solid, I meant the same color, not solid. This is not a solid. <laughs> this is a print, but I meant the same print. Now we're gonna grab our backs and we're gonna place them right sides together and sew that back seam with your preferred stretch stitch. Now that we have sewn the back of our dress, we're gonna go ahead and give it a good steam. Steaming it, steaming your seams is always a great idea with knits or even wovens, but with knits, it likes to take away that waviness that knits tend to have. Um, and it just gives you a really nice looking seam down the back. All right, now we're gonna grab, we're gonna place our back here, right side up on my mat. 
and then I'm going to grab my front and I'm going to place that front shoulders right on top of the back shoulders and we're going to sew them right sides together. Now you can go ahead and go do that and come back and do this next step, but I'm going to go ahead and just place them together now and sew the sides as well because we're going to be sewing our sides on our next step. Right sides together here at the outer edge. If you didn't baste your pocket and your liner, pocket liner here, make sure that you catch them when you're sewing it. You want to catch all the layers. So if that's a little bit hard, you might want to baste this first and then sew it. Sometimes I like to baste it first. Sometimes I just go for it and then pay for the pay the price later. Either way, <laughs> we're going to do the same on both sides. All right, now for sleeves. I am doing the long sleeve version, but um, just the regular long sleeve. But if you're doing the um, bishop sleeves, you will do the same thing. You're gonna grab your sleeve and you're gonna fold it right sides together at the outer edge. Now, make sure that when you cut your sleeve, you mark what is the front and the back. I did my little marks here for the back, so I know that that's the back. You want to make sure to mark that so that way it's easier for when you go put when you are going to sew it onto your dress. Now, the one difference between the bishop sleeve and the regular sleeve is the fact that as you when you sew your sleeve together, you'll see that you have it it's a lot bigger here at the bottom, this bottom hem. Well, the next step we will do once we, our sleeve is attached and everything is to add this um to attach the, attach the cuff. As you can see, when we sew up the cuff, so the cuff will be folded right sides together and sewn at this edge here. When we sew up the cuff, the cuff is basically the same width as the regular sleeve, so you just have to stretch it a little bit to attach. But with the uh, bishop sleeve, it's a lot bigger. So what you're going to do with the bishop sleeve is you're going to add a basting stitch or a gathering stitch so you're going to end up gathering that the sleeve hem all the way to fit the um, cuff. So when we get ready to attach the cuff, you'll have to um, gather that bottom of the sleeve. But this step right here is the same step for both. Now let's go sew that with your preferred thread stitch. Alrighty, that is put together and a sleeve is prepped. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our sleeve and turn it right side out. And we're gonna find the front and the back. So this is my back notch here, which means that this is gonna have to touch the back of my bodice. So that means that that's not gonna fit there, it's gonna go on this side because this middle sleeve here I mean, the seam right here has got to be match the armpit seam. So I'm going to stick this right in that arm side. That's what this is called. This is called an arm side right here, the armhole. And here where the armpit um, seam is, we're going to match that up with the inseam of our sleeve right there. And you'll see that this little bump piece here that showed me this is the back is going to be touching the back of the arm side of the sleeve arm hole. <laughs> And we're gonna sew it all the way around. We're gonna do that for both arms. Now you would be doing this with the regular sleeve and with the bishop sleeve. Now I am not doing the um, uh, sleeveless today. The sleeveless will have the bands, but um, if you need help with a sleeveless pattern, we do have some sleeveless pattern like the Monday morning um, that you can use to refer to. You can use that, refer to that video on how bands are attached um, to the bodice, to the neckline and to the um, arms. On this one, I'm going to be doing the cowl, so I will not be attaching a neckband either. So if you need help with your neckband, we do have a really good video on how to attach the perfect neckband. Um, it's called Bands, Bands, Bands. If you want to check it out, it might be helpful. All right, so I'm going to go sew that on. But while I'm here, I'm going to also grab my cuff whoop, and fold it right sides together like I showed you earlier and sew that raw edge.
All right, I am going to do my sleeveless version of the dress. So I wanted to show you how I do my bands. Um, so this part you're going to do to all the bands. Now make sure that if you're doing bands you for your um, sleeves, if you're doing sleeveless, uh, make sure that you cut on the sleeveless line of your bodice, like of your dress front and back. There is a um, like a, a line that shows you for sleeveless. Okay, so I'm going to grab my band. You're going to do this to all the bands. What I like to do first is we're going to create a memory crease. This makes it easier to sew the neckband on. Now, I don't do this for every fabric. Some of the fabrics, the memory crease doesn't even stay, so it doesn't help a whole lot. But if the fabric does stay, like this one right here, then it's really worth you doing a memory crease. After you do a memory crease, you're going to fold it right sides together at the short raw edge, and you're going to sew those bands right sides together here at the short raw edge. I'm gonna do it for all three, the neck band and the two arm bands. All right, as you can tell, I have sewn them. I just sewed them really quickly. And now I'm going to grab my band and fold them wrong sides together where, that, where I made that crease right there I'm gonna put a clip on the back and I'm gonna quarter my band I'm gonna quarter my dress as well in a minute but first we're quartering our band by matching the back and then I'm gonna grab it and and go to the front and I like to do like a little snip here at the front to show me where my front is going to be right here I'll put a clip on there too because I'm gonna have to clip it to the bodies anyway then I'm gonna match the front and the back and go to the sides. And we're gonna do this for all the bands, neck band and two arm bands. I wasn't like I wasn't gonna change my threads, but I feel like I might change them because I don't want it, I don't want my neck band thread to show. So I think I'm gonna go change my threads to black on my serger. Once they have all been marked, we're gonna go ahead and quarter our dress as well, um, our armbands and our arms and our body. So we're gonna grab our body and we're gonna match, here's the back, we're gonna go to the front. And I just, like I said, I like to do a little snippy right there. And then I'm gonna match the back and the front and I'm gonna go to the sides. One, two, and then I'm gonna grab my neckband, which is the biggest one, and I'm gonna match up my quarter points with the quarter points on my neck. And the seam, I'm gonna put it to the back. Right sides together, I'm matching those quarter, po quarter points where I marked them. And then I'm gonna do the same for the sleeves. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that band to even out and sew all the way around on all three bands. I didn't change my whole thread, all my threads. I just changed the needle thread. I'm hoping that that will be enough not to show through. All right, we're going to turn your dress right side out and our dress is almost done all we gotta do is attach our cuffs attach our neckband or cowl and hem and then we'll be all done all right so here at the bottom of the cuff like i said if you have the bishop sleeve you're going to gather it to fit the um our, the uh band but i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this band and i'm going to fold it wrong sides together this is a sleeve cuff. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of it. I kept calling it a band. Well, it technically is a band. Anyway, the sleeve cuff, I'm matching right sides to, wrong sides together here at the raw edge. I'm gonna go from the seam here to the front and I'm gonna do like a half point here. And I'm going to insert that cuff on my sleeve here. Match up this side here where all the seams are. And then match the other side. I didn't mark that, but here's where the half of that 
sleeve is right here. And then we're just going to, with this one, because it's just a little bit bigger, all you have to do is just kind of even them out. Just pull it a little bit, the cuff, so that it's even with the sleeve. For the bishop, though, we you won't be able to do that. You will have to put a gathering stitch in. I'm going to do that for both sleeves. Sew all the way around. And sew that up. All right, so here is my cowl. And like I said, I marked here my sides. This air, this is my long way. This is the outer round. I've got my back marked and I've got my front here. As you can see, there's little notches here. I don't know if you can see them. And so if you open this up, because there's a fold right there, I don't know if you can see the whole thing. It goes like this, see that? Here's one side, here's the other, the little bumpies that come out and then the sides are kind of wavy. Um, if you are having a hard time visualizing, you want to grab your pattern piece and make sure that you have it the right way. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab it and we're going to fold those two points coming this way. And then you have this one edge here at the top. And we're gonna sew this right here on this side. Right sides together. It's really important that you mark your sides the pattern mark, the markings are on the pattern, so make sure that you mark your pattern because that's going to help you to be able to sew it the right way because it's a little bit similar in shape. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sew right here with your preferred stretch stitch. We've got our cowl. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna fold it down, wrong sides together matching up the raw edges here at the top. So that seam back here, that's gonna be my back seam. I'm gonna flip that together and then go all the way around matching right sides together. This lower part here is going to be the front. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna mark quarter you want to quarter this essentially this is going to be the what goes attached to the dress so as you can see the reason why this has this dip here which is really nice is the fact that the front of the bodice goes down a little bit so you want to go down a little bit here i'll show you what i mean by that because you may be curious as to why you see how the front dips down here and the back is higher. Well, this is gonna be on the back and this is going to be on the front here. You see that? That is how it's going to be attached right there. So what we're going to do is we're gonna grab this cowl and we're gonna quarter it. So we go to, from the back to the front, mark our front. Okay, and then we're gonna match up the front together and go to the sides and I have this little nips over here already marking my sides now we're gonna get our dress and we're gonna do the same for our neck band our neck here's our back which is where the seam is and we're gonna go to the front and mark our front and then I'm gonna match up the front and back and go to the sides I'm gonna turn my dress inside out because we're gonna fit our cowl inside. Fit our cowl inside and match up those points. The seam is gonna be on the back. The front is gonna be on the front, the lowest part, and then the side seams. And now we're gonna go and sew it all the way around to attach our cowl. And then at the bottom, we're just going to hem our bottom. We're hemming at a half an inch seam allowance. I'm gonna go ahead and actually steam it now. I'm gonna do a steam. That way I can do everything at once and we'll be done with our dress.
I am using my cover stitch to hem. I'm super excited. We are almost done. All right, friends, we are finished with our dress. It turned out so good. I love how it fits. It's so nice. It's such a nice shape. Um, the pockets are really, really nice and cool right here on the side. I am really looking forward to doing a color block option and I actually already found some fabric that I'm going to use. So I'm probably going to go ahead and get that sewn up and hopefully be able to show you on here as well. Um, if you want more inspiration for any of the Ellie and Mac patterns, um, you can always visit our Facebook page where we have um, a really good community. But also if you look at our listing, which our listings will be underneath each of our videos, um, for the pattern itself, we have a ton of tester pictures uh, that you can look through and see how this pattern fits on different um, models so anyway I think it turned out amazing I love the length of the sleeves they hit just perfect the cowl is really nice now this version I think it's a little bit more of like a wintry version I'm probably going to be adding like some tights and boots and it will look super cute but I'm going to be making a spring version. That is what I love about most Ellie and Mac patterns most of the Ellie and Mac patterns have so many different options um, on on how to make the dress. So like you can go for all year round. Like this option right here could be your winter fall option. And even like early spring when it's still cold out and you want to have the extra coverage. And then as you transition to spring and summer, you can do either short sleeve, sleeveless, just a regular neckband. Um, and it just goes through the whole year and you can have so many different looks by using the same pattern. You can omit the pockets. Can... There's just such a variety of things that you can do with this pattern. So I hope you go ahead and grab it. I'm going to add the link below. I'm going to try to go sew the other pattern and give you a little clip of how it turns out, but I love it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. All right, friends, I was able to finish up this option. And as you saw in the video already, I did include that, um, the neckband option and the sleeveless. I love this look. I still kept, I still did the uh, pockets because I thought they were a great accent to this hourglass shape. I love it. All right, so I hope you sew it up with me and I'll see you next time. Bye, for real now, bye. <laughs>